at that point, doesn't it, when things aren't going your way. But, you know, when you look at Ratchaburi, you're right in the respect of, you know, we've seen two-man squads do pretty well so far. Yeah. <laughs> uh, QDS being really the prime example, but let's get into this one. It is going to be Ratchaburi against Wani. Of course, Wani has said they've already played first game this morning, losing that one to QDS, and attack straight away here, coming out of Wani from left to right in the Arsenal away kit. And in the home kit is going to be Ratchaburi shooting from right to left. It's always important these early moments to convert your chances whenever possible. Early corner here, though. Good ball in towards oh. Mario Amos, and straight away it's going to be Wani trying to right the wrongs of the first game. Mavropanos at the back post, big fella. Puts it in the bottom left corner and a fantastic start for the Indonesian side. Well, it's a fantastic start and the whole point I was trying to make before the game, converting chances for Wani earlier on today were, well, it just wasn't happening. It's absolutely tremendous, a great header, the keeper just, just I think he gets a pour on it, but it's just not enough, not a strong enough hand and a great delivery and a great finish. Yeah, very powerful delivery towards the back post. Just haven't read it quick enough and there you go. And it is going to be Indonesian side Wani taking the lead within three minutes of in-game time. Plenty of time left to go though for Ratchaburi. They will be disappointed by that, but it's not like they've conceded a goal in open play. They can sort of chalk it up and be like, yeah, okay, right, we've conceded a corner. Not the end of the world, these things do happen. But here we go, they're trying to get on the attack now, Welbeck and they will be getting in the way of each other and that will be a throw in to Wani with the initial fantastic start. And they will just try and clear this one away, but you know, I, I mean, if you you know, we've got our stat sheets here, we've got our facts and figures and you just look at the experience from Ratchaburi and that's, that's probably where they are let down a little bit. Yeah, certainly the experience on, on the side of their opponents, Wani, and I think it was Rio DS, the eldest of the entire team to put that one home from the corner and that experience coming into play is again they are on the attack and see if they can get two in a row. Oh, Aubameyang always the target there. If you aren't playing as Arsenal, Mkhitaryan now with the ball on the edge of the box. Looking to wiggle free, create a little bit of room. He's just about going to get there, dribbles on his way through. Is he going to continue that? Try to, will gain a corner by the looks of things. Wani continuing to put that pressure on. It's actually going to be a free kick as Lacazette will look to whip this one in. Pierre Aub Emmerich Aubameyang will be the one he's looking for. But if you are Ratchaburi, you are looking towards this set piece and you are trying to be a little bit more clinical in your defending. As opposed to the corner last time, Mkhitaryan whips it in towards Medley at the front post. And a well-worked set piece once again. It does seem as if Wani will continue this attack. Zulu there with Socrates. The front post header was cleared away. Very important to defend in those kind of situations. You don't want to go two down within 10 minutes. And it was a great delivery. It was five down, I think, controlling Welbeck, the target for that free kick. But no connection right there. So we go back to square one. 12 minutes gone. And so far, it's been Ratchaburi really struggling. They haven't had yeah. anything in the field. And so far, it's been one-way traffic. Yeah, completely. Even when they lose the ball, they look like they're going to get it back fairly quickly here. Wani and Warby now edge of the box towards Aubameyang. Socrates with an important header away. And you're right, it really has been all Wani so far. The Indonesian side really putting pedal to the metal. They want to try take an early lead and make it a couple, not just one. We've seen their first goal from the corner. Go in with inside three minutes. Lacazette now looking for the run of a Warby, possibly. Does send it out towards Mkhitaryan. Gwendozi's the one to beat. Hard to do so, and Mkhitaryan will now clear this one away for Richard Bury, and this seems to be their first opportunity to stretch his legs down this left-hand side and trying to get something going through. Aubameyang and... Retained possession. I, I was going to say before that break came in, really, from Richard Bury, uh, Zeus Fidan has been fantastic in, in midfield for, for his team, and here he is again with Mkhitaryan, and now Lacazette on the ball. Yeah, that was a big opportunity, a big good tackle by Gwendozi. Koscielnik will get this one away for Rechaburi, but it's been a disappointing half from them so far. Yeah, you can see in the possession stats, a lot of that is because of the, the red marker. That is Zeus Fidan. Keep an eye on any player controlled by the red marker because he's been fantastic in midfield. There will be now with a chance to whip this in. Plays it short to Torreira, and uh, maybe just getting each other's way there, but Wani 
Will still manage to keep a hold of that ball, and once again, it is Fidan trying to run away with it. Can't quite get away from Welbeck and Socrates down this left-hand side for Warnick, but the pressure's still on. But the thing is, though, if they don't convert their chances, then Ratchaburi will possibly find a way back into this game, but they have already converted one, so they have that in their back pocket, a 1-0 lead for Warnie so far. That's 27 always, minutes of in-game time I've got. Always that chance on the break. You, you want to see with this good spell of possession here, really, Wani get another one, get that two-goal cushion. And here is Lacazette. And there is the second, there is that two-goal cushion. And that's what you need, Wani with a well-worked goal. The dink over the top and just finds Lacazette in acres of space. And he will put that one away very, very easily. And this has really been comfortable for Wani so far. They have looked faultless. Albeit, we've seen their first game against QDS they really didn't show a lot but here we go just about beats the offside trap and the side foot nice and easy into the bottom right corner Retchaburi now with a small hill to climb not quite the mountain yet not quite the mountain but I was praising Zeus Fidan early on for his his tremendous midfield work it's actually his two teammates now Rio and Lucky Marif combining Lacazette in the end putting the ball in the back of the net, but that is that is clinical. That is a really, really big goal to get because the way Wani were playing earlier on, they were getting chances, they just weren't converting them, and if their opponents were able to weather the storm, if Ratchaburi were able to come out the other side of that good spell of possession while being dominated, we saw earlier on the possession, 71 to 29, if they were able to get out of that and maybe snatch a goal back, that might play into, the, into their hands almost psychologically, but well done to Wani, they are in the driver's seat here, 32 minutes gone. It will be now to Mkhitaryan and Wani wanting to add an extra nail into a potential coffin here for Richard Brewery. Mkhitaryan now to take the corner. We have already seen a corner converted. It is Mavropanos on the run again. It is going to be Rio controlling him, and it's not quite the one they've aimed for. Petr Cech will quite easily claim that one if you're Richard Brewery. Now, what, what, what can they do here to get things going? It, it, for me, Harry, they really just need to get a hold of the ball, if anything. That, that's yeah. been the big problem. They haven't any possession to do much with. And it's difficult to do that when you are down a man. We saw QDS. They are obviously well experienced in doing that. The EU Season 2 Regional Finals. They had to play with two men, but here's a are. chance. But those are chances when they're coming so few and far between. You cannot snatch out. I think Mkhitaryan here, I think it is on the edge of the box, maybe has a chance to take a touch there maybe try and find a teammate in the end goes for the left keep her off the line and you think oh you know what I'm hitting this but with the height that was at you would have liked to see maybe take a touch look for a pass just to make sure and just feel as if how many of those opportunities are Retroburi going to have afforded to the Mkhitaryan receives a good ball from the right hand side it will be inside the box now can't quite wriggle free this one will just about be cleared by Wani and it just seems as if Retroburi may be getting a little bit of a grasp on this game again there was one more pass to be played Welbeck was through I think it was Zulu actually who was controlling him oh, they're in trouble they are in trouble Obama Yang into the box good fake inside and it's a fantastic goal they have to start attacking Retroburi and what that does is open up space and Wani fills those gaps with players who can put it in at the bottom of the net Fantastic goal by Aubameyang, breaks through. Good skill to get past the defender and slots it home to make it three. We've seen this man throughout all of the Pez League, the entirety of the two seasons, the qualification campaigns, but there is a reason why so many players, so many teams choose Arsenal. It's because of this man, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. So clinical, he's... Almost definitely the top scorer throughout the entirety of the Pez League. And, well, when he cuts inside like that and has so much space. Wrong foot's the defender, the keeper were also lost at sea. It's the third. And Ratchaburi, well, just as their keeper was, I feel like they're probably lost at sea right now as well. Yeah, it's, uh, it's look, shipwrecked. Shipwrecked indeed. It's look, they're landlocked. I, I was looking for some wordplay with Ratchaburi, but I don't, I don't have that. I, right. I, don't, I, I don't have it. I just don't have it. Either way. Did you just say yar on live broadcast? You did. Yeah. Oh, it was the org, actually. Oh, okay. Well, considering what I said at the beginning of the broadcast, I think we'll let, it, let, you, let you slide with that one. Okay. But, uh, yeah, it's it's not looking great at all, is it, really? One of are walking away with this quite easily. Richard Brewery offering nothing to little so far in this game. I, I, maybe a little bit harsh. You know, they've had opportunities, but maybe rushing them a little bit too much. Could it be being behind and sort of thinking to yourself, you must score? 
it could be maybe just not playing together, maybe just not having the quality that we're seeing from Warney being displayed right now. That is really causing Rechaburi to struggle, actually saying that Warney could add a fourth, not quite. But yeah, Rechaburi really in a tough spot now. And I don't see any route back in, that's the problem. We, we really haven't seen enough to distinguish, to say that Rechaburi are, yeah, okay, they could probably get a goal or two back in. We spoke earlier on in the studio about how maybe having two players might be better for you defensively as, again, more pressure. They are absolutely bombarding. Chaburi's box as we head into the half. We spoke about two players maybe benefiting you defensively, but so far they've just been suffocated by the three men of, of Wani. And honestly, it, it's been difficult for them to even get a, a, a foot on the ball. You can see in the passes column there from, uh, I think that is Visasin, minus 30 in, in passes points. And that is. Uh, that's not a good score. <laughs> it's not a good score. No. If you ever see a minus next to something, it's never good. Yeah, and, and we've seen the stats there before. It was Wani who managed to make 10 interceptions, uh, which was inevitably better than Ratchaburi. But noticeably for me as well uh, was the fact that only three opportunities, three shots for Wani, every single one of them on target and every single one of them going into the back of the net. So they are being very clinical, which is what we've seen be their problem against QDS. They weren't putting their chances away. As you can see from the stats on your screen, that is very much the opposite as to what is happening now. Every single one buried. And look at the interceptions column. Yeah, that's for really, Wani. And four more granted. Obviously, you are at this level of play going to have some interceptions as you do read the runs. But because they have that extra man to watch the runs, they're able to cut out passes and anything that Ratchaburi are even trying to attempt here in this game. So back to the drawing board. Something I noticed as well. Ratchaburi here, who do have the ball and a Oh, they're looking to try and make something happen. They uh, are, are playing two men up front. And, oh, no, they brought it back for a foul, I think. Oh, that's tough. It just seems as if Aubameyang shrugs madly out of the way there. And nothing gets away with it. That was a big opportunity as well. It seems as if he just used his strength, but it was judged to be a foul. So. The point I was about to make, Chris, is that they are playing a 4-1-2-1-2. Two men up front, it's often you see just the one striker played in the co-ops, so maybe that being exploited out wide is, is coming back to bite them. You can see all the space over here for Mkhitaryan. And that's been created by some fantastic dribbling by Faden. Here he is again with Welbeck on the edge of the box, has options as well. He's still got a hold of the ball and does feed it to a Warby. Back out to Mkhitaryan, you're expecting the cross in, that's exactly what you're going to get! And you're going to get a fourth goal for the Indonesian side of Wani. Domination so far as Aubameyang finds his second for them. A well-worked goal off the back of some fantastic possession. A great pass out and an equally as good ball in. Shake of the head from Ratchaburi's players and they really do have that mountain to climb now, Harry. The beauty of this, we, we were just speaking about the space out wide. Look, if Aubameyang doesn't win this, it's Lacazette wide open behind him to put it in the back of the net. and. I honestly feel like the formation at the moment certainly to hit that ball. There's still the Frenchman behind them to stick it in the back of the net. They need to figure out something very soon. I mean, <laughs> a goal almost immediately might just give them a fighting chance. But when you're 4-0 down, you haven't had anything really of note to, to write home about attacking-wise. It's, well, I hate to say it, I think it's pretty much done and dusted here in the 55th minute already. You feel as if this one has possibly been put to bed now as Kashelny gets to a loose pass once again from Ratchaburi. Wani now looking to counter-attack. And yeah, you're absolutely right. It, it, you just do not see a route back in. And the thing is, at 4-0 down, you have to start moving forward, which creates room like this. Aubameyang can play it in a well back. He sticks it in the back of the net. That's now five. And they just have to push forward. They have to find a goal. It opens up the space. Danny Welbeck adds a fifth. And what else is there to say? Warning, dominant here, yeah. above and beyond the better team. Ratchaburi, uh, oh, it's looking slow, it's looking real slow. Well, there's no room for sympathy at this level. Remember, we are still in the group, so you want to score as many as possible. Doesn't matter if your opponents are looking for sorry for themselves. And the entire move really came from one of the Ratchaburi players just Controlling the right back, bringing him towards the ball, being sucked away from his natural position. That allowed the space wide to Aubameyang, and we're going to see a pause come in. And 
it, it's a great game plan, honestly, from, from Wani. You know, identifying it's just the two men on the other side. They're going to pull players out of position. They're just holding the ball. We've seen it several times. I mean, think back to the, the fourth goal uh, when Mkhitaryan was on the right-hand side. Yeah. Absolutely no one near him. Again, same thing. Fullback being pulled out of position. And it, it's a great game plan. They're, they're playing this perfectly. And honestly, I don't think they're done scoring here. And, and no. Wani... They really look like they are uh, trying to up their goal difference. Yeah, you know, if you're Retro Brewery here, yeah, you have to really not concede anymore at all. Yes, OK, it's going to be very difficult, albeit impossible, to maybe come back here, but the goal difference could make a difference. That, you see, that's just simple stuff there, though. The, you run straight into Torreira, who is always going to cause you issues there. Same thing. And Same now there's happening. so much room for Lacazette to get moving down this right. Skips past his defender. There's Aubameyang. There's Nelly, number six, in fantastic fashion once again. Look at all of the room, you're very, very right. And look, at the, the movement is fantastic. Uh, the yellow player, I, I'll remember in a second from Warney. Fantastic movement in and out of the box, just confusing the Ratchbury defender. And that was uh, fantastic from Rio, who I do believe has got most of the goals here for Warney so far. And that's where the extra player comes into it. But here we go, this is maybe an opportunity for Ratchbury. John Missed Jules time. offside. And if you look at the left hand side, Aubameyang is pacing through against the defender. You, you think that's the pass. And for me, without maybe being too harsh on Retroburi, it just seems as if they don't have the quality. Certainly, it's, it's just too many mistakes being made yeah. defensively. And I hate to call them out, but Zulu, that's the second time in a row with Kashelny there at, at the back. I, th I think he's playing left back right now for them. He's just pulling him way out of position. And you can see, I mean, just look at their faces. It, just, just, it tells a picture, but the amount of space they're affording, the, the three men of Wani, the the Indonesians it's too easy you can't allow that amount of space at this level and they are making them pay you could talk about maybe not having that third man really being a detriment to them but you feel as if even if Tanmu is here this is still a, a dominant victory for Wani who same thing same thing's just happened sorry to cut you off but Zulu's just <laughs> dragged Socrates at right back right out of position and they're just looking for that player as soon as that player's out of position there looking for the overlap, looking for the overload on, on one of those sides. It's very well played, identifying the weaknesses of Ratchaburi from Wani, and it's happening here again. Ketia now looking to get away, and that's just a cynical foul from Awobi. That's one way to stop them crossing the ball in, boys. <laughs> just take his legs away. <laughs> and that's going to be a yellow card for the Arsenal man on the side of Ratchaburi. And right now, I mean, if you, if you are the side from Asia, they, you know, they, they did qualify by the Toyota E-League. How do you see a route back into this tournament? If anything, they're not going to get back into this game, but they need to do something different. You know, do you look at the defense? Do you, I mean, you look at everything, really, let's be honest. It, it has not been good. He has an opportunity for them. Can they get a goal on the scoreboard here? Bamiyang, rushed ball into John Jules. He's going to nearly get it back. Kashalny with some good defending in. Once again, Wani will counter attack. To answer your question, I think they really have to look at their defensive capabilities. I think their tournament run here is done with the two losses, but. They've just been struggling defensively. Maybe their missing player was the leader of the defence, but look at this, it's just too easy. Faden just really ghosting through them. Every single opportunity, that will be a goal kick, so momentary respite for Echeburi, and that's if they can keep a hold of the ball for more than five seconds. Once again, Wani putting on the pressure, or Bamiyang down the left was looking for it, as was John Jules in the middle. Played away quite easily by Echeburi this time, but once again, that midfield battle, that extra man really is coming up trumps yet for the Indonesian side with Mwani, who have been dominant so far. And it's hard to really commentate on because it has been so one sided. It has. Uh, I think uh, the way we have to look at it is the positives that Mwani can draw from this. We It'll saw give them confidence. Uh, in their first game, they really weren't putting their chances away. We can't say that about this game. They have been really, really clinical. They've identified the weaknesses and they've exploited them perfectly. And, that's something they're going to have to do in their final group game if they if they want a chance of getting out of this group. Well defended for the momentary time that they have to defend here by Wani, and that's another positive as well, is that their defence has been good. They haven't really been tested, so to speak, but every single time that a question has been asked, they have had the answer. Wani now just looking to close this one out, but Ratchaburi looking to maybe try and grab a consolation goal. John Jules now. The ball through to Ramsey, back across will be the idea, and they are going to get one. A slight rub of the green and a smile on their faces, at least, as Torreira puts it in the back of his own net. 
Oh, that's unlucky. That's rough. That's rough. <laughs> and you can see, really... It was more, well worked, though. It, it was more of a hopeful ball across the face. You can see no one really in position for Ramsey to look for, and the, <laughs> the touch from Torreira. Oh, boy. He's uh, not going to be well liked in the changing rooms after this oh, one. And it's Leno, a, oh, it's a stinking touch. <laughs> Anywhere else, I could have touched it. <laughs> Anywhere <laughs> else. Torreira puts one in his own neck, then that will be the concept. <laughs> That's the thing, for Richard Brewer, you can't be like, well, at least we scored. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, technically, they haven't scored one yet. Technically, they haven't. So there you go, Richard Brewer now. 5-1 down, Wani will uh, hopefully just laugh it off and say, all right, OK, well, we, we can take that because we managed to score five at the other end. But attacking-wise, they've been dominant. Defensive-wise, for the most part, have been pretty good as well. Let's see, can Richard Brewer score a goal themselves here? Yeah. John Jules now. Into well, but they got men over the other side. We need some more runs, and that's maybe where the third player comes in. That's maybe where Warney have really been able to stretch their legs, having the room to move, having the, the players to control, which allows you to be more creative. That's a ball forward that John Jules will just about get a hold of. Back to Ramsey on the edge of the box. Maybe an opportunity here for Retta Brewery. Over the strike from there against Leno is never really going to work out. And that will be that. Warney dominant here. 5 1 victory over Retta Brewery who I do believe crash out the tournament with that loss, but Wani back on a roll here, back with a little bit of confidence, putting some goals away, and that was important for the man.